Good morning, man. I'm Clay Gordon with your breakfast break. Bail is set for a man charged with two counts of burglary. The alleged incidents coming just three days apart. Craig Frank appeared via video conference in Penobscot Judicial Center yesterday. The Maine State Police says Frank stole jewelry from the drawer of an unidentified woman on December 28th. Jury selection for a brewer man accused of gross sexual assault and sexual exploitation of a minor was scheduled to take place Wednesday. However, the defendant has decided to enter a plea in the case. 27-year-old Terrence Pinkham will enter a plea at a later date that has not yet been scheduled, and his case will not go to trial. He and 27-year-old Kate Doobie are both charged with the crimes, and Doobie is expected to enter a plea this Friday. Pinkham and Doobie were arrested in May after police received an electronic photo of the alleged sexual assault involving a 7-year-old boy related to the couple. Now one man is dead, the other seriously injured after a Wednesday morning car crash in Manchester. It happened around midnight. Here's a picture courtesy of the Maine State Police. Driver 31-year-old Joshua Levine of Wilton died at the scene. 62-year-old William DeCastro from Chesterville, the passenger, was taken to Central Maine Medical Center in Lewiston and he's expected to live. Neither man was wearing a seatbelt and both had been drinking. Levine's driver's license was suspended. And remember, when news happens, you'll see it here in Good Morning Maine. But for more local news right now, tune in to Fox Bangor.